good afternoon. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. I'm here to make a little quick short video. An unboxing and a review. So why do I start the video with this? Because I just got back in the house. And this is how I do when I go places. You know, I got a big ass box of gloves by the door. So I can always replace these. And then uh, I wear a double mask. I wear the medical mask on the outside. And I wear the KN95 on the inside. Which, being the fact that I'm uh, double vaxxed, like, I guess I don't need this stuff. But I'm not about to leave your grandmama's safety, my mother's safety, up to things like that. You know, I'm going to make sure that, like, I'm being responsible and careful, you know, when I go to any place and interact with anyone. You know, and I wanted to start the video there to share with people those things because, like, technically, because I'm vaccinated, you know, like, maybe I don't need to do that, but I'm not about to sit and wait until either something happens to me or something happens to somebody else before I decide that, like, okay, maybe I should have took an extra measure or something, you know? I ain't out here for that. So, welcome to the video. I'm TJ. You know, um, so what I got today is I did the unthinkable, you know. <laughs> I went, you know, to my local vape shop, you know, and I've been there plenty of times. But the unthinkable is the vape shop prices are never better than what you can find spending a decent amount of time online trying to find stuff, you know, whether it's the e-juice, you know, the e-juice that I got to unbox today, you know, I can find it for cheaper places online, but I was pressed for time, so that's why I went to a local shop, you know, but the unthinkable though is I grabbed some CBD at the vape shop while I was there, <laughs> which you better off going online, it's a notorious meme slash joke to not do that shit, <laughs> you know, unless the company that you mess with online is the, that you know that they hook up your vape, your local vape shop or something, you know, so, um, so today I will do the unboxing and the try of the juice on my vaporizer, and then I'll, uh, unbox the CBD and show you what it looks like, so, before I get started, I never do this, I always forget. Um, parental advisory face. Any of the CBD that I show in this video is legit in all 50 states due to the Farm Bill in 2018. You know, it is not marijuana despite what you what your stereotypical mind might be thinking. And I hope that's not you watching this video. If you go and tune into it and that's what you're thinking, hopefully you'll get educated and you won't be in that position. Um, the juice today is Sugar Drizzle by Cutwood. It's a California e-juice place. And um, the reason why I chose to do Cutwood is because it has, it has a sentimental value kind of thing place in my heart. Because back when I quit smoking cigarettes years ago, uh, and I started grabbing vape juice, um... Initially, all I would ever grab was different house blends from different vape shops. Like, I wasn't even hip to, like, um, some of the differences between house blends and, you know, some other companies. Now, there are places that know their stuff where that if they have enough experience, you know, the house blend can be on par with some name brands that you pay a lot more for. But there's also places that do house blends that, like, you're like, man, the first time you fill up your tank, like, why the hell am I doing this? You know, like, I should have just bought X, Y, or Z juice that I'm used to. You know, um, the, the sugar drizzle has a place in my heart because initially, um, just to save more money during the initial vaping experience, I used to only buy house blends. Even though I would go to 
different vape shops and try different things, I would always buy their house blend because it was significantly cheaper. And Cutwood feels good to me because that was the it was the first branded you know company brand that I bought. Um, as a matter of fact, I think uh, Boss Reserve, another one of their flavors, was my first like name brand flavor that I ever tried in my vaping experience. And um, Sugar Drizzle was the second. Okay, and now it's been a very long time since I had Sugar Drizzle, but if I remember, it's like. I want to say it has a graham cracker vibe. I want to say that like maybe a bear claw with maple syrup kind of going on. Like I do remember the syrupy kind of taste, the cinnamon, and having it being really, you know, uh, layered. It wasn't nothing overpowered. Okay, so but this is the this is the good good. The good, the bad, and the ugly about going, excuse me, I didn't mean to start. The good, the bad, and the ugly about going to a vape shop. You know, this is a 60 mil bottle and a six of a sugar drizzle by Cutwood. And this was like 20, you know, when damn near any e juice you could find online, you could get 100 mils for like 12 bucks, 13 bucks or something from a lot of different sites. And, you know, like, I know I can get cut wood for cheaper than that, but I was pressed. Like, I was about to run out of juice. I was about to run out of CBD, so I had to do, like, an emergency Super Dave shit, you know. Sorry if you're not old enough and you don't know who Super Dave is. But, look. <laughs> All right, so I got it on my uh, my Vaporesso in the Zeus tank at 65. It's been uh, sitting for a while, so it should be ready to go. I'm going to do a few of my customary procedures here. Okay. Now since I revved her up and did a little foreplay, let me see what it tastes like. I can't believe sometimes when I look on Eju sites and see this flavor getting any anything bad to say about it. It is so lovely. Like if you like dessert flavors, if you like them sweet flavors, oh my goodness, this shit is lovely. Like brown sugar, cinnamon. And like, there are e-juice flavors that have cinnamon that tastes like the red hot candy. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like cinnamon on your waffles or your pancakes, which is things that I like cinnamon on. That cinnamon taste is on the inhale. How's like that bakery treat on the exhale? But it's really, really smooth. Like no bad parts about it. That's why, you know, when I figured out that they had it in stock, I'm like, let me go over there and check this out and do a video for this. Because I knew that I loved the flavor. And it's great nostalgia for me because like, Back in the day, when I first got the uh, Boss Reserve, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I might never buy another house blend again. <laughs> okay, so, now, with the, uh, sc the scary movie part is getting CBD from a vape shop. And what's ridiculous is that this is probably outdoor and it costs 30 Like, really crazy? Like, I can get good pain relief online for that price. But it, the thing that gave me a little bit of comfort is that um, the company, you know, I like the company. Um, previously, I've only bought their e-juices, though. Um, the company is called Koi, and the flavor is Legendary OG. But, 
legendary OG is typically dark, but yeah, this looks outdoor. They're shaking there. There's sticks in there. And, you know, like we were in there open and I was asking a bunch of questions and shit. Uh, this is the lid that was on it. <laughs> you know, the vape shop experience for me would be killing me. They good for e-juice, though. You know. But until they start looking at CBD for what it is instead of like a, another hustle to add to their lineup, I don't think it'll change. But it's good that it's completely sealed. There's probably nitro in there with this, with this uh, plastic seal on top. Let me open it. Got that nice little Pepsi can sound when you open it. And the traditional legendary OG taste. So what made it a little bit less scary for me was that it was Koi. And legendary OG is one of my favorite arthritis relief strains. So for my joints, my fingers, my knuckles, my shoulders, my neck. Legendary OG does really well. Now, um, Legendary OG is a Kush variant, so it has like the lemony, gassy thing. But, like, again, like, it's, yeah, it's dark. It's all small. There's some good stick coverage in here. There's a little bit of loose leaf in there. But, like, what was I expecting? You know, but it does smell really good. The moisture content is there. It doesn't look, you know, ridiculously bad, but it's not like some WNC or something either. But I'm looking forward to trying it just because I knew that, like, I was down to the buzzer on my CBD stuff. So I needed to do something unless I wanted to be in pain all day. And I will try it later. I'll probably mention in one of my videos what I thought of it and stuff like that. But the CBD mainly for me on this channel is to give, excuse me, is to give people different options. You know, to find different things, some things that they may not be used to. You know, it's not for me to tell you, you know, what CBD is good for you and what CBD ain't. So that's why I don't be on here saying, oh, I, you know, to a certain extent on what to get or what not to get. Like, for instance, what I may do with e-juice. So, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. You know, um, come back and check me out. Whether it's some of my spoken word or my video game streams. You know, come back and check some of that stuff out. Um, the new Battlefield beta will be out really soon but I'm not sure about the embargo rules on it so I, I might not stream it I don't want to get uh, not not just my channel but my my PlayStation ID I don't want to get anything to do with that so I might just wait until launch night when 2042 come out to do the initial streaming um, man the dude that's the, the face of the game you know, he just passed away last night or today or something. So rest in peace to Michael K. Williams. Um, come back and check out my stuff, man. I'm TJ. Holla at me.